Hey gang, I just wanted to take a few minutes and show you how to sign up for a Dropbox account. Now, Dropbox is it's one of those cloud storage sites that we've been hearing so much about lately. The, the main idea there is it's kind of like a USB drive on the internet that lets you save any of your files to your Dropbox account. And you can also access those from any device as long as you have an internet connection. So to get you going with Dropbox, I want you to go to the website www.dropbox.com. Then what you're going to do is you are going to look for this right here where it says create an account and click on that. First fill out your name, put in your email address and also a password. Then you're going to agree to the Dropbox terms and then you're going to click here where it says create an account. Now once you've signed up what they have you do is they have you do a few different little tasks to kind of get you to know Dropbox but I'm not going to go through those I'll let you do that but just know that one of the options at the very end is to be able to set up your account and you can pick whichever one you want um, some of them cost but the free one allows you to get two gig worth of free storage and when it comes to documents that's quite a bit so not only can Dropbox make your life a lot easier but you can also use it with your students if your students have their own Dropbox accounts then you can set up what are called shareable folders and the way you do that is you go over here right where it says new folder click on that and you create and name your your new folder but you can also go over here to where it says sharing and by clicking on that you can pick the folder and you can also save settings that allow other people to have access to that as well also for certain kinds of iPad apps like Screen Chomp, your students are going to be able to create copies of their work, save those as PDFs to shareable folders that you've set up, and then you'll be able to pull those up on your iPad. I hope this helps you get started with Dropbox and let me know if you have any questions.